Yo, yo, Rangulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underscore. Uh, we're back at it again. We were playing this yesterday, and I had a had a bit of a tough time uh, at the beginning there, and I thought I was starting to figure it out near the end there um, with the controls, and uh, I'm going to give it another go today. Um, I ended up losing my save file from last game, um, so I had to restart. Um, I tried catching up to... Uh, where we were at last time, um, but I uh, accidentally ended up killing the uh, the snake creature thing boss there, and I I didn't die or whatever. I can't remember if I killed that in the last time or not, but whatever. I killed the snake thing. Now I'm headed back to uh, the space station, um, and the guy that I killed the snake thing with is uh, asking, or at least telling me that there's another space station that I could go to um, that's... Uh, like a smuggling station so I'm not I'm kind of torn here if I want to uh, what I want to do here if I want to actually make this like maybe a pirate character or like a smuggler character it might be interesting to see how that goes um, I'm curious if there's mo multiple storylines or if there's maybe maybe the story kind of dies off right away I'm not too sure how this how this game is gonna go in terms of the story so far, but um, I'm really I really kind of want to uh, really want to go to this the smuggler space and kind of see what that's like. Um, I'll just read this out to you and uh, we'll go. So the payout from the star chasing job should be enough to at least help me out, get on me on my feet. You only need to recommend me go to the Wreck and Ren shipyard. From what I remember, they have decent prices on equipment. Prof knows I need it. The shift would probably blow up and a space leaf touched it or something. Soon as after Unilees and Rishin left me, a storm rolled in. I suppose this is my luck now. A fellow star chaser had offered to show up with me the ropes. Maybe I can do this. I already blew a few washers out of the sky. How much harder could this be? And then after I beat, uh, beat, beat the, the snake creature thing and then uh, we also blew up the uh, the center of the storm I guess and then it dissipated the storm so after that he uh, this is what he had my new star chaser colleague suggested in not so subtle terms that there was a nearby smuggling base I could also get equipment from maybe society has already told me to go fuck myself what's one more real crime among a pile of fake ones so I have the sense that, that if I go there, I'm hoping that if I go there, there's actually more than just equipment. Like, I wonder if there's ships and stuff there, because I kind of want to get a new ship, to be perfectly honest. I'm almost tempted to just base in this Reckon Rune Station just for now and see if there's anything there, and then I wonder if I can also decide to jump. I, I would have hoped that I could also decide to jump there as well, but... I think we're gonna go and just dock at Reckonrend and maybe see if there's a couple ships or something we could buy. I don't know if we can even afford ships to be perfectly honest, but I'm looking to buy a ship. I don't necessarily think that a light class WoW ship is something I really want to be flying, but I don't think this is also a place where they're gonna where they are going to give me ships. I could be wrong on that, but... Go. Didn't mean to do that. I guess... My dog? No. Not. Go to a dock. Is that even possible?
Where do I dock? Okay. Well, if we can't buy a ship here, maybe we will try and buy a ship somewhere else. I know planets will probably have a ship to buy. I really hope I can afford one. I'm looking to buy like a heavy class ship, to be perfectly honest, and maybe it'll give us a bit more cargo space, give us a little bit more uh, health, maybe a little bit more room for different types of abilities. I don't know if this can, this one smaller ship can handle everything. I'm not too sure, to be perfectly honest, but I would assume that this ship probably can't do everything like a heavier class ship can do. Obviously, this is going to be faster than faster than that, but I find this ship already too too quick anyway, so I wonder if a heavier ship will slow me down a little bit and maybe give me a little bit better control. Okay, so I wonder if because this quest completed, if the other... Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking that the, the smuggling side of this one probably went away. So. Oh, well. I'll... I'll just have to play the good guy role for, for now. Maybe I'll have the option to go back or... We'll see. Uh, stations and planets. You can land on most stations and planets to access services. You can quickly asset, access base services on stations via menu. But stations often have secret hidden way. Docking bays. Each station has a docking bay or docking port. You can launch to space here. Some ports have train stations. You can pay a captain to transport you. And your ship quickly to other ports in the galaxy. Okay, sweet. I'm just listening to this. Nebula. Non volatile gas allows this. Makes sense. Keep that good. Few gas crawlers. Here last week, we talked about the strange jump gate, jump gate they found out there. I think 620 got sucked into it. Those ancient gates can get freaky. Blockcroft, I know. If I want to bring it to the old man Hansker, be my guess. We'll give it a few more hours. So that's where I get the strange gates quest. That gate didn't really do anything other than give me information, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's go. Can I buy a ship? Ship dealer. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, let's just go. Okay, so ship dealers. Station have ship dealers and sh shipyards and ship dealers. Here you can buy, sell, trade in, or switch between different ships. You can also customize your character in your ship at most ship dealers. Okay. Um, let's just go. This is my ship or open ship dealer. Let's just go open ship dealer. I am looking for a heavier, see, like heavy fighter. 26,000, so I can afford that. Which I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go with this. Buy ship, jackhammer. So a VSS 41 jackhammer, Baldwin heavy fighter. Loose connection of house funded mil militias that the Baldwin like call their armed forces like to call their armed forces have despite jeez louise i cannot speak despite the valdwin prejudice against the soldiering a long and dedicated history appropriately they have quite a bit of political sway and parliament keeps a steady supply of these heavy firepower and heavy heavy firepower and heavy armored jackhammers to keep him complacent Full 7000, max shield C4, loadout is 2C3, 4C4, 1 heavy, AI C4, and a mine. Okay, so this has a lot of stuff. Is this like, if I, was I right? Click on? Yeah, I seemingly can't click on my other hand. How would I click on? Can't do that. Okay, not possible. Cool. Good to know. Um, but this should be good. Um, item bonuses. Friend drive time. 
Okay, whatever the hell that means. Uh, swap to ship. Yeah, 2C2, 2C3, 2C4, one heavy, AIC4. Uh, I guess it had the ability to do everything else, but I just want a heavier ship. So, okay, let's uh maybe see if we can go to the Equipment dealers, sell weapons, utilities, ammunition, and more. You can buy, sell, or restock equipment at equipment dealers. You can also quickly access services and repair and restock your ship. Um, so if I... Yeah, so complete. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't go back to that. Maybe I could probably like go and fly to that port ship if I were that station, if I found it, but... Oh well, I will have to just be on this train. Okay, let's go equipment dealer. So this currently has nothing on, on it. That's actually surprising, just a thruster. Shit, I did not expect that. I uh, have 40,000, I wonder if I can swap out the guns for now. I don't know if I can afford. Okay, so let's just see what a sunbeam, photonic, repeater, DPS, refire rate is 8.3, so that's good. So eight shots per second. So I have the ability to get two class threes, two class fours. Oh no, two class threes and four class fours. That's not bad. So if we go Damn, they're expensive. So, hmm. we just go with the cheap shit for now, and then I think that's our only option. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the cheap shit for now, and then we will come back. Once we make more money. Or do we want... Okay. I'm going to go back to my other ship. If that's an option. And swap out. Go ship dealer. Customize ship. So this is the jackhammer. Um, I go back here, swap the ship. And then if I go and unequip a bunch of shit, is that gonna work or what? Go back to the equipment dealer. And unequip, unequip item, yeah. Perfect, oh, that's what I want. These guns are probably useless, but better than having to buy everything. Uh, equipment, shield, let's unequip that. I don't think I had a shield. Okay, so, anything else? I think that's everything I can do here other than the thruster. Okay, go back. Now we're gonna go over here. Sell this ship if we can. We're gonna swap to the jackhammer. Sell the nebula. And then we will equip. Oh, no. so we will. That looks actually looks pretty cool. It looks like you can actually like fully customize your ship. Oh shit, I'm in the ship dealer. Uh let's go back to the equipment.
wonder if it's because it's still in the other ship. Do I have to, like, store the guns in storage to get them? Or maybe they're not even able to be installed on this ship. Maybe that's the case. I'm done. We're just gonna buy these. One. Two. That's two, three. I have 24,000. I kinda want a shield, to be honest. Shield class four. I wonder. Hardware. Thrusters. No shields. Oh, wrong side. I was looking at the wrong side. So shield. 13,000, 40,000, 62, and 90. So I can only afford one of these. Constable shield. This is an eight and okay. This is an antic antic base shield. It offers protection from wow. These freaking words. Okay, so offers okay. This is an antic base shield. It offers protection from tonite and temporal based weaponry. It takes more damage from bosonic and glutonic. Or gluonic weapons whatever the fuck that is and then so bonus energy recharge rate plus 12 percent so we're gonna take this they don't have anything like that armor extra hull plating 10 g's full strength increased by one percent like 0.1 percent i don't know if that's worth 10 g's to me right now Anti-projectile countermeasures that can fly out and simulate movement. Well, obviously I want countermeasures. I don't necessarily know if I use countermeasures against NPCs all that much, though. Usually that's more of like an, a fucking PvP type move. I don't want to spend money on that just yet. Um, no mining. Thruster. It's just basic thruster. Oops. Maybe we'll Um, okay, um, ammunition, I haven't bought anything, I wonder if, damn it, I should have bought, uh, missile launchers, so I can still afford one missile launcher, no, no I cannot, it cost 12, just can't afford it, so we're gonna have to do a mission, come back, it's gonna have to be an easy mission, cause I don't really have any guns, okay, so we just went to the bar, so station bars, bars and taverns on stations are an excellent way to find work. You can access the job boards and bars to preview available missions or news terminals to read current news events relevant to the area. Many individuals looking to hire a star chaser often hang out in bars. The bouncer. Can I talk to everyone? Like, it doesn't seem like I can talk to everyone. Yeah. They have to have like some sort of interaction thing above their head. It's like I can't even talk to the bartender. Um, okay. Is there the job board? Nothing here. Alien guard, giant robot. Okay, so breaking news. Speakerson found guilty. The anti high court today ruled that Cardoz Speakerson has been found guilty of insurance fraud and a shipwreck conspiracy. Cardoz Speakerson. So that's us. We are so we got that's what ha so we got found guilty of insurance fraud and shipwreck conspiracy because they thought we blew up the ship at the beginning there 
the O110, the O10, both head of High House Speakerson and the ship company Speaker Freight pled innocent to the charges of having intentionally sabotaged one of his company's trade convoys with the intent of capitalizing on the resulting insurance payout. In the wake of Speaker Freight's gold convoy's destruction, Speakerson was placed under house arrest, claiming that the charges were only the result of prejudice against him. You only did this because of what I am, Speakerson said to the courts during last week's hearing. If I was a 3-5 or an 0-9, we wouldn't be in this situation at all. A 3-5 or even an 0-9. What the hell is... Like, what do these numbers mean? Uh, found guilty. Uh, Speaker Sin will be stripped of both house rank and company. So, like... I'm an 0-10. A three five and oh no like what the fuck did these numbers mean? I was like okay I'm I'll figure it out eventually. Uh Yunlin Relief cracks down on Rust Lord smuggling. In a public statement released this week, the Union confirmed that they have recently increased scrutiny on interregion cargo. Interregional cargo due to increasing increased security concerns over the Rust Lord's artifacts being smuggled into Valdwin space in the wake of the recent explosion on Valdwin. The blast, which claimed many lives of 18 people, including famed actor Jörn Tarhelm, was the result of improperly handled artifacts. Jörn had faced widespread criticism for his blatant flaunting of regulations and chosen to openly display many Rust Lord structures in his mansion, which he claimed were culturally significant sculptures. The wake of the blast, many citizens demanded greater regulation and enforcement on the artifact plan, though many are also blaming Junk Tech for the incident. They have not they have got that big stupid cannon over their headquarters and have already skirted around the Rust Lord's band. If the Union wanted to know who keeps bringing these things into our space and threatening our lives, they will know exactly where to look, claimed local civil leader Jerswin. Ezra, Ezra. Cool. At the time, the Union deployed several cruisers along the Valdric border, where they will be scanning all incoming traffic for any Rust Lord paraphernalia. So it seems like their border is lined with Border Patrol looking for uh, for for artifacts. So if I'm want to smuggle. Doing it in this kind of space is probably not going to be the easiest time because they're on high on high end. Okay, uh, production began today on several small scale high engine drives as part of a newly negotiated deal with all, all smugs shipyards. Arm Armag, I can speak Arm Armagal shipyards despite perceived rivalries between the two shipyards various shipwrights aboard record have heard that this kind of contract isn't uncommon many people don't realize how many military ships have civilian parts in them says local shipwright darn roken the many parts there are many two okay there are many parts too small for or too specialized for armagal to make and so many drives or components we make are shipped to them. The Argon Mile contract ha is expired to be the first of many, is expected to be the first of many following Hisar Haskar's announcement that they would be pursuing military and police contracts. Holy crap, I cannot speak. Uh, manufactured strike averted, market stabilized. In a happy end to the recent ongoing labor disputes, both Shipwright Union and Reichenrange board members announced that they have reached a compromise, and thus avoiding any strike by shipyard workers. Following last year's pay cut and increased workloads from both Argamile and Union contractors, many Reichenrange workers were feeling that enough was enough and demanded both raises and increased hires to compensate for the increased workload. Frankly, we're just unhappy with and with that. We're, okay. 
Frankly, we're just happy this was able to be resolved in, in a calm, orderly manner, said Raikunran's Stason Master, but some are still unhappy. We're an award-winning shipyard now. We're gaining military contractors, and this is all they reward us with? We're just, we're not a junkyard tech. We deserve higher standards and higher pay, said one doctor, who asked to remain an honor. At the time, work is returning to normal, and ship production is expected to remain on schedule. So there's a strike there was a strike or maybe there is a strike averted so okay tensions are high i guess uh the prejudice moonwright ship awards have been considered the pinnacle of shipwright accolade but sadly 300 years reichenrand existed no designer has ever won until now in a surprise victory over macrovari teams and predlednira and even Argamile designers, Reichenrand has been awarded not one, but several moon rights. The winner includes... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, Asenhemdebel... Uh, Asenhedemble. Her most efficient power core design. And Helene Haskar for advances in ship customization. Both will be receiving common and public displays of their work in the main hall for the next year along quarterly bonus for all permanent station wreck and road employees Ooh. okay so a lot of information there but not really anything i really care about other than the fact that i kind of figured now i i'm guilty apparently of insurance fraud and shipwreck conspiracy because they think i blew up my ship just for the money. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the job board. Oops. Okay, we need some cash. Quick cash. Career, resupply, pickup, crafting, resupply, survey. Wait, there's 10,000, 12,000, so there's a 12,000. Resupply. Supplies of synthetic foodstuffs are running low, and it's essential that we acquire these if we were to meet quarterly projection. If you could acquire 12 units of synthetic foodstuffs and bring it here to Reichenrin Shipyard, we would pay you for each unit sold, plus a bonus upon receiving every unit. Okay. Uh, difficulty 6. This doesn't seem that difficult. Resupply the base. 12. I'll do that. The most delivery required amount of goods to the base. Fun. Okay. New character and reputation. Why do I have it? Oh, that's why. Available points 3. I guess I leveled up. I can only level up so many right now. Like, it doesn't seem... Like I can level up anything else right now. Uh, so we will go. Honestly, shield recharge rate kind of seems like it would make. Like, why wouldn't I go with that? Kind of seems like that makes the most sense. I'm just going to keep going with that. Seems the most beneficial so far. Yeah. We're going to do that. Um, And then we're going to go to. Log, active, or mission. Uh, payout 12,000 mission taken from Reichenrin Shipyard. Oh, what's that? Cat one. What's that? Switch to crafting menu. What's the crafting? Missions tab, news panel. Oh. Well, I wonder what that is. Cat one. Almost feel like that's like someone hailing us. Um, 
Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna go to the cargo trader. Open cargo trader. Open cargo storage and bank. Items 25. Ship. Okay, let's go back. Item. So they don't have any foodstuffs here. Yeah, we're gonna just leave them. Um. Hey, Kasarov, just checking in. Is everything all right? Her bell. Scanning. Hold B to perform long scan. Hold long scan range shows points of interest of various pulsing shapes. Gold pulses are extremely valuable points of interest, such as lost jump gates or ancient ruins. Green pulses are jump points. Green pulses are jump points. Red pulses are indicate wrecks. The card has is everything all right? Could be better. Yeah, but I've heard you've been finding work as a star chaser. Not, it's not that bad. Need something, Belle? No, but you've got an open -up bottle of Ingui rye here. You don't want to stop by? I've got you. Give you money. Or you got to help you get back on your feet. I'll take a glass of that whiskey then. Perfect. I'll have a cab waiting on you in landing dock. Drinks with Carbell. Couldn't read the dialogue that quickly. I'm assuming that's supposed to be like voice acted or voice dialogue, but I just don't have it yet. I. Is that a quest? Meet with him on planet Baldrick for drinks. I can take a taxi once I'm there to his office. I mean. It's a free booze. Am I really going to turn that down? Okay. What is this flashing blue thing? Well, I need money. Um. So I can actually go to that unknown station, it seems, still. Sweet. Awesome. So if I want to, like, go smuggling or something, I could probably do that. Um... Okay. Let's go... to Planet Baldrick. That's probably the best place to find some foodstuffs. Um... I think that is probably... Planet Baldrick, if I guess. Spolin train yard. Yeah. Star Damn, they just contraband scan you every everywhere. All right. Nope. Am I gonna hit one of those sides? Jeez. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I definitely want some missile launchers. Help me kill ships faster. They track on if you buy the right ones, and y'all know I suck at aiming. So, okay, so. There faster. Not a bad looking ship. Then you can customize it full, uh, like even more. So I haven't even gotten to the customization of ship customization. That's that's pretty cool. That's even an option. We'll get some 
foodstuffs from Valdric, as well as uh, talking to uh, Bell, I think that was. Music's not bad. Nice and cheery. Sounds very repetitive. They scan you everywhere you go, so if you have anything smuggling, you're gonna get caught. At one. I don't know what that means. Baldrick. Let's trade. Food stuff seventeen. Damn. I can take 30. I only need 14. Okay. Ooh. Um, I actually kind of want to go to the shipyard. See if they have anything cool. So they have a tier one ship, heavy fighter, Corona. Jackhammer, Raiders, Luna. Oh, so they all look the same, even if they're uh, interesting. Okay, they're just different classes. So there's only a couple different types of ships, but they're all uh, they're all still relatively cheap. Cheap though. Charge. So it seems like the one I have. Friend drive time plus 10 seconds. I don't know what the hell a friend drive is. And then reputation gain plus 10%. That's really the only difference, it seems. Everything else is the same, it seems. Hmm. Yeah. So not much differences in ships. Different look. If I customize my ship headlights. Change the color of your headlights. Okay. If I want random color, green.
I'm gonna go speaker emerald. Give that back. Union black. super light. I almost kind of want to go sunshine green just to make it pop. And then probably union black. Blue. Lobster blue. Kind of looks like a toy at this point. Not entirely not entirely like a like in that. Just gonna stick to that. Engines. Strip engines. So you can change the color of your engines. Interesting. stuff you can buy or maybe people can make some I'm just gonna maybe position rotation see it's not really much size okay there's not really much you can Um, I'm probably never going to use this view. Yeah, okay, got nothing here. Okay, let's, uh, let's head out. Um, we got the foodstuffs. We want to go to... Bar, equipment dealer, cargo trader, ship dealer, chapter one. So I thought there was, we, okay, let's go missions. It's here, right? That he drinks with Carbell. Planet Baldrin. That's what I'm on, right? Or am I on Baldwin? Planet Valdrin. Okay. Taxi over. Taxi. 
where would I get attacked? Bell's office. I'm aboard. We'll take you there. Sweet. Okay. Put them here. Our bell. You made it. No trouble with the taxi, I hope. No dirty looks. Not too bad. You'll see. In a few weeks, the medium and the public will forget about you and whatever the next pointless outrage will be. But let's focus on something better. You've poured, I've poured you a glass. Why don't you lead the toast? Uh, I guess to better fortunes. Uh, to your better fortunes, man. I've, I've heard you found some success as a star chaser. Apparently, I'm good at it. Uh, would have thought. As speaker said, a natural star chaser. Just think, in a few years, you'll have the first. You'll be the first O10 to be one of ten. What does that freaking mean? I don't think I'm top 10 Star Chaser material. That's your problem, Cardoz. You only think ever think as a good you're a good traitor. If either takes if it it either takes me or a lot of alcohol. Okay. It either takes me or a lot of alcohol for you to admit your better trade list traits. I just feel dumb. What the hell was that? If, if if either takes me or a lot of alcohol for you to admit, yeah, I, I I'm just yeah. Uh, speak of, there's quite a bit of left in the bottle. How about another round and another toast? Um, I guess I shouldn't. All right, I don't want to enable any bad habits of yours. Plus, I do have something to give you can't pay you legally but I realize that there's nothing that'll stop me from taking a few gift back to get clients give me and passing them along I defend enough star pi starfighter pilots that I often have an excess of equipment I was thinking I could give it to you I'll take any help I can get that's the spirit so what I have here apparently is used by junkers and star chasers help repair broken items you can use your ships on board fabricator you should be able to use this stuff to stitch up any old items and government shouldn't normally sell to you but that can't prevent you from looting off any old wrecks okay i'll have it delivered to your cargo bay. thanks bell hey what a friend for i'll see you about getting you i'll see about getting you some more stuff in the Cool. Refabricator, delic delicate device, and an auto repair. Okay, let's head out. I wonder if I have to equip this stuff. Let's go. Sh that should be good. I want to go to. The stuff he gave me doesn't do anything for me here. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Head back to uh, the space station to get our money.
Then we're gonna do this, go to Spolton, and then transfer to the Reichenrad. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Reichenrad is, is the stuff that needs the uh, food stocks. Let's go, oh. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, Reichenrad should be okay. Hand over your card, though. Uh, no, decline that. You are dumb. You are dumb. I'm going to kill you, Mata. Starcat. Oh shit, I forgot. I don't really have any good. <laughs> oh shit. Forgot. Maybe I won't. Maybe I need to run. Shit. Whoa. Need to pay attention. Yikes. It does not seem like I'm doing any damage. Maybe I just need to hit him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm doing any damage. Barely any damage. So this. Definitely need better guns. Also need to be able to hit, but... Looks like I'm getting help, it seems. Or am I wrong? Damn, I am barely doing anything. Slowly, but... There we go. I'm assuming I gotta avoid these balls of light. I don't know what the hell those are. Got them in my sight. Fire. Okay, there we go. I got help. I don't think I was gonna kill this guy anyways by myself. Pretty shitty weapons I got. Oh, he's running? I think he's running. Yeah, he's running. My weapons don't do shit. Got him. Almost got him. Oh, yes. Didn't get him. He's probably gonna run. Boom! Oh, got him. Unstable refabricator and shield catch. Thanks, fellas. Okay, so yeah, this definitely doesn't attack shields very well. Uh... Hell yeah. So, from everything I've been doing so far, I am like getting major freaking freelancer flashbacks. This is definitely. Definitely exactly like the freelancer. Um, kind of wish the graphics were a little better upgraded, but I'm wondering if maybe I'm, I'm, I'm almost wondering if maybe like when this comes live and we do open up PVP servers that maybe having the graphics not necessarily be so high that'll maybe help out PVP help lag out. Cause I know that used to be somewhat of an issue in freelancer where lag would be an issue but freelancer never had like dedicated servers it always had other people host servers so i'm wondering if this game will have host servers or dedicated servers or like 
people will have to host their own servers. But, uh... Either way... I cannot wait until this game comes out with PvP, with uh, online play multiplayer, because... Definitely, definitely, the whole fun of this game is to go and freaking fight and kill people. PvP is a lot of fun in these types of games. Uh, Reagan Rose. Dock? Docking permission granted. You're clear to land on docking point one. All the background nebulas and stuff like that. The, the star. The solar system star, like. Yeah, this game is. This game is, uh. Give me a whole lot of flashbacks. Routine cargo scan, please stand by. Yeah, yeah. No contraband detected. You're free to go. Okay. Um. So. I got the mission from the job board. So how do I like? Hand in a mission. Wonder if I just do it at the draw board. News panel, mission tab. Pick up, resupply. No. Where do I? Oh. Supplies of the Synthon includes running low and essential require these meet our core labor protections. If you could acquire 12 units of synthetic foods and bring it here to Reichenrand Shipyard, have to pay for each unit sold plus a bonus upon receiving a reading. To the base. Where? Civilians, also known as modified and sports ships, revolve in the thews. Hmm, where or oh where? Oh, is it this? You're already on mission. How do I do this? And the mission. Finish the mission. How do I finish the mission? Can't really talk to anyone. Where do you hand your mission? Launch pad, portable. Hmm. And now it doesn't even show up. So what the hell? I feel like if I go to the equipment dealer, Air, open equipment, or maybe cargo trader? Cargo trader. Go here. Trader in store and banking. Wait a minute. Cargo. What? Do I not have cargo? Did I not buy any? What? Am I that dumb? 
Oh, wow. I didn't buy any? What? I totally thought I did. Dude, what? I swore I freaking yeah right here what foodstuffs 14 dude what the hell okay well, at least I can sell them for a lot more So, do I sell them here to make my money? If I just go up to 12, sell cargo. How much do you want to bet I don't get anything for that? Am I still on the mission? Yep. So, good amount of good to the base. Cool. I thought I just did that. So, I guess I didn't do that. I just wasted my time and my money. Okay, well that doesn't make any sense to me. You have to like collect it? What the hell? What the hell? That's lame. Oh, whatever. If I ever come across foodstuffs again, maybe I'll buy some or whatever, but I don't want freaking money. That's the whole reason I went over there. And I don't even know what the dude gave me. He gave me some stuff and I have like no idea what it was. Unstable refabricator. Avant garde design choices used to dangerous, prone to imploding, exploding, and many other forms of self annihilation. The only reliable thing it seems capable of is scanning and reproducing intact versions of broken heart. Beware of this is still cause dis dis this will still cause it to disintegrate after use. Tool. Delicate, fragile machine that seems to be made out of some sort of volatile gas material. Almost weightless and easily broken. Whatever or whoever built this is unknown, but destroyed circuitry can be fed into it and become good as new. Predictably, effort destroys the device entirely. So he just gave me a bunch of useless shit, or I don't, I don't even know what he wants me to do. Whatever. Um, just head. What is? Oh, the unknown station. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna head to this. I know this is what I need for the strange gate. So we're just gonna head here. I think you also collect a bunch of data from here as well, so.
mal. Come on. I'm trying to get into the other one. The Abyss Drive. I'm gonna head here. Maybe I'll head to the unknown station after this. Just to just to see. Sixty-five thousand worth of data. Okay. Sounds like a lot. I wonder what data is and if like how I sell it. That's where I sell it. Definitely like the uh, the music when it's there. Helps uh, distract from my silence. In the everlasting void of space. I wonder if there's like random events or how this works with the clouds. Passes circle. Looks pretty cool. Oh shit. Who's this? Wanna go? Oh well, Katka. Kaltra. He's a Mata. They're Mata pirates, I guess? I definitely need better guns. Because I'm hitting him and it's not doing it. Okay, there we go. Maybe I wasn't hitting him. Come on, I got him, got him, got him. Shield her down, shield her down. Oh, launch something at me. 
You missed. Definitely want missiles, so this makes this a little faster and easier. Man. Careful. The mine. Man, I have not touched him. I get some missiles on me. Barely scratched him. Come on. Talking to himself, it's like me. And kind of seems like I'm hitting him, but then doesn't look like he's taking freaking any damage. guns too so it's like I'm really underpowered right now I guess what I got going for me is that I'm in a heavy ship his health now? Jeez. Definitely need better guns. What the hell is that blue thing? Tentacles in the background. I haven't made any progress here. Come on, let's frickin' do some damage.
Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Almost there. I wonder if I can run into one of those tentacles. Come on, we almost got this guy. Got a third of the health left. Killing one NPC should not be this hard. He's on fire now. Probably gonna start running away if I'd guess. Almost got him, ran right into him. Fight with me, bro. Do some passes. There we go. Got. Oh yeah, you are. You little bitch. Why'd you attack me in the first place? Oh, what a bitch. Orwell Calta. I wonder if. Somewhere along the line, you can run into them again. Yeah, he's running. I don't think I'll catch him. That's fine. Definitely need to invest in missiles and better guns. If we had a missile there, we would have killed him. Easy. Easy. Data center, yeah. So, $65,000 worth of data. That's what it told me I had, so. Let's see. Where would I do it? Right there. Oh, yeah. see what they have. Even though I already bought a ship. Foxhound. Damn it. Damn it. That looks freaking cool. Damn it. I should have went with this. That looks really cool. Kind of want to go with that. Oh well. Um. I wonder if the chapter house buys data. Who can I talk? Do I talk to anyone or do I just menu them? Few chapters and weather's reports. Sell scanned data. Scan data sixty five thousand. 
Cell data. I've reached level seven. Picked up a fabricator. Lost gate. An enormous jump gate of gate builder origin. While long known to Union scientists, the gate has remained intact. It is hard to actively, and it's hard to actively track. The leading theory is that the gate is unstable and phases in and out of re reality. Hmm. Now I have seventy six k. I honestly spent a retarded amount of money on this on the guns I honestly want to buy this ship and restock it on this ship I can sell this for 26 so it, I can sell that okay I'm actually gonna buy this ship I kind of like the like the look of this one a little better I just waste my money or is it the same C3 and C class 3 class 4 it's the same right yeah let's let's go dealer unequipped these ones from this ship wonder if these are still able to be used on my other ship close this Now, if I go to my other ship, box hound, swap ship, exit, equipment. Do I have those guns still? No. So, now I'm going to try. It's a little tedious, but. Swap back to this ship. Go to the cargo trader. Open up storage. Toss all this shit in the storage. Let's deposit all. Go back to the other one. Yeah, it's a little tedious to get where I'm wanting to go, but I think this is going to work. Uh, swap. Honestly, I might sell the jackhammer as well. I'm going to just sell the jackhammer. Do I want to do that? I'm doing it. I'm selling it. I like this ship better. Um, and then we go... The equipment dealer... No, so same class or same weapons can't be used on every ship, even if it's like a heavy class ship. So they all have different type of weapons, it seems. Damn, wasted my money. Maybe I can get a one to one sell again. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I can't even sell. Or did I not pick them up? I mean, is that the case? That's probably the case. So let's go to Cargo Trader. Damn it, man. Uh, this? There we go, that's why. Uh, transfer and equip. Transfer. Can I do an all? We'll just transfer and equip for now, and then maybe we will buy some good stuff. Okay, back to the equipment dealer. He's little tedious should be an option in like the equipment dealer to like do this have a storage maybe there is and i just haven't seen it 
Okay, so we have 76,000 credits. Mother's Milk MK1. Fire rate, 4 per second. Not bad, not bad. It's a little slower, but does more damage, obviously. 60, 25. Doubles the damage, over doubles the damage, half the fire rate. Shield DPS is 12%. Pull 240. Shield 110, hull 208. Is there like a shield killer here? Definitely want missiles, so that's a high priority. So let's go missiles. Um, bone sunder delivers piercing missiles with capable of bypassing shields by a small percentage. I think that's the one I bought last time. Rapid fire, probably self-explanatory. Micro missiles that are designed with ultra fast launch mechanisms, allowing them to rapidly be fired. Refire rate 10 per second. That's crazy. Uh, academic launcher. Torpedoes. No tracking ability, but do more damage. So, yeah, we're just going to go with the bone sonder. Bone sonder launcher. Maybe we want a seeker as well. Shield damage. Look at that. And knock ships out of high engine. So this is like a. I think this is exactly what I think it is, but maybe it's not. It does a lot of shield damage. How do you? Okay, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna go shield. Am I gonna do that? No, no. We're gonna just go with the Bone Sunder right now. And go. So, 32,000 for this. Like, double the damage. That's fairly expensive, though. 32,000. I'm going to go one of these. Mother's Belt MK2. And I think we're going to go with the Sunbeam C. 32k. Hopefully, we'll be fine with that. We don't have any more money, so. Is what it is. Yeah. Uh, if we go back to the chapter house, let's see what. No regions monitor chapters, no chapters hosted. Cat 2. So it was Cat 1 before. So what is Cat. Like, what does this mean? Cat 1. Category. Is that category two? Is that, am I in a storm? Is that what that means? That's probably what that means. Okay, so maybe that's what that means. I'm in a category two storm. Um, so we're gonna redo this one, randomize until we get a purple. That's more pink. I want more purple, darker purple.
this what it is? Actually, go with the blue. The lobster's blue. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. It's a little plain, but I think uh, I think it'll do. Let's go green. some cool missions or something you can actually talk to the bartender hangman gate looking to get your hands dirty bud what do you mean you didn't come here for the company and a wonderful watered down beer I'm guessing you're looking into a bit of legwork you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying let's just say I can help you out in more ways than one what did you have in mind bud bud it's all about what you want. I'm just the middleman. The greaser of hands and opening of doors, you know? See, some interesting parties have often in need of people that need friends or, or aren't familiar with, understand? People who aren't, who are clean, dependable, bountyless. Let's just say a few family men are off looking to have good smooth. Things shift. Easy stuff, good pay, most importantly, it'll be into your good graces. It'll get me into it'll get you into their good graces. Check the job board for those, but in a, but if manual labor is not your calling, well, let's just say I'm able to take a few calls. Network. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You pay me something and I can make certain adjustments to your reputation. Maybe you want to meet a few people. Maybe you want to tell the law you've turned over a new leaf, so to speak. You've got the cash. I can make it happen. Just worry that you put a dent in your kid's college fund if you're not careful. So you can fix my reputation and you offer smuggling missions? Hey, you said it, not me. My hands are clean. Still, talk to me or check the job board if anything's up your alley. I'm always here, even if you just want to talk. Okay. Sweet. Let's just see what kind of jobs they have. So smuggling, smuggling, smuggling. Everything's a smuggling mission. They don't pay very well other than like maybe this one. Maybe they're easier if they don't pay as well, but they're all danger seven. So I wonder why some pay better than others. Smuggling. Okay, so if you want to live a life of crime, you have to start at the bottom. Pass this cycle. Circle is is the staging point for most smuggling operations in the capital. You still need people to retrieve goods, but that's where you come in. We need you to meet our contract and receive a shipment of Aldrich embryos. Bring them back to the base. Don't get caught. If you want to prove yourself to the Mata, you need to prove your reliability dodge your you can reliably dodge patrols the goal of this run is simple make it to planet Valdrick's landing base one little catch though we'll be loading you up with a fake IED it's not volatile but it'll trip any contraband scans tenfold land on Valdrick with that IED and we'll consider you value proof interest so you just have to like run in there and freaking get to the gate right away or do you have to like carefully avoid 
Getting scanned? I don't definitely want to prove myself a meta. I've had to fight a couple of those assholes. Well, I'm gonna just gonna take the smuggler and pick up. Oh, I'm already on a mission. That stupid freaking one that I couldn't finish somehow. I guess I leveled up. Still can only level up these same things here, so let's just go reputation gain up to five max ammo bump that up to five maybe we'll bump it up to six get out of here and i think that's where we're gonna end it today um thank you for watching wrench feels like playing hope to see you next time if you like the video feel free to drop a like and subscribe it would really help a lot um thanks